Hey there, Patty Dominguez with episode 58 of the Position to Profit podcast. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to share something that comes up that's pretty insidious, that is actually fairly common, that may be the reason that you are not advancing your business the way that you want. And that's what I'm going to be covering on today's solo show of the Positioning to Profit podcast. So hang with me because I got some good stuff. Hey there, I'm Patty Dominguez. You're about to discover what it means to position your brand and your business to stand out. This show explores the stories of small business owners just like you who are bringing their message out to the world and impacting their tribe. So if you want to take your business to a category of one status, then hang with me because this podcast shares everything you need to know about how to be more prolific with your brand so that you can have more profits. Hey there, thanks for joining me on today's episode. So one of the things I have the luxury of doing lots of different types of Q&A, um, group coaching types of situations. And in the group coaching, I tell you, part of the thing that I like about it is I never know what questions I'm going to get. So it's a lot of fun for me. It's a lot of fun to hear different questions come at me and really recognizing that there's so many similarities to where people are. And one of the things that keeps people stuck is the lack of belief in themselves and the the lack of belief that they can do what they are intending to do. And so what happens is, is we do these very interesting habits of procrastinating. That's one, because there's a fear there and we we choose to stay in our comfort zone. Another one that is very insidious is that we get into learning mode. And what happens with learning mode is we become addicted to learning. And in our haste to learn, it is as if we are actually being productive, but we're actually not. We're actually procrastinating. We're avoiding getting to work. We're avoiding doing the thing that is going to make a different business. And what I mean by the difference is putting an offer out there, selling, right? A lot of people have hangups about selling, hangups about, well, who am I to ask? And even as a matter of fact, not too long ago, one of the things that I had this block about was, okay, if I put too many offers out there, am I abusing my list, right? Am I bastardizing my list is what I said uh, to a mentor of mine. And he said, well, let me tell you this. If you don't offer them solutions when you know they need them, they're just going to go looking elsewhere. So might as well be you. And that's really the truth of it is our apprehension in putting out the offers when we know that we can help someone. As Jay Abraham says, we have a moral responsibility to put ourselves out there. We have a moral responsibility to share what it is that we can do for others when we know that we can provide solutions, provide an impact really change them in a positive way. And so when you look at it that way, of course, you become a trusted advisor and that's really significant. But more importantly, one of the things that keeps us stuck is that inner saboteur, the imposter syndrome, the the itty bitty shitty committee, as some people call it, I know I do. And one of the things that is so important is to recognize that that is a choice. It's a matter of choice to stay there. And as scary as it is, I promise you, one of the things that you've heard me say over and over again on the shows is that sometimes we suck and then we suck less until we don't suck at all. And then it actually becomes fun. And I really believe that. And the reason I say that is because notice if there are blocks in your business and typically we don't even see them because we're in the jar, right? We can't see the label from the outside or excuse me, from the inside of the jar. So the deal is, really pulse check yourself and say, am I growing in my business or am I stagnant? And if you are stagnant, if you're not growing, it's because there's some saboteur activities going on. Maybe you are in this mode of learning and not applying, not taking action, keeping yourself really comfortable by getting into that learning mode and avoiding the reality of just put your offer out there or sell. And then we, some of you have heard me say who I work with that marketing is behavioral psychology and numbers. So when you know your numbers, you can really back into what it's going to take to get you to where you want to go. 
So quite often I see people who want to do their launches or they want to have this launch or that launch or should I do a challenge or a boot camp or an online course? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can back into the numbers. It is quite simple. When we remove the barriers of story and fear and all this other stuff, being in integrity and putting ourselves out there when we know that there's a solution to provide. Now, in one of the boot camps I did, one of the feedback pieces was, well, how do I know if what it is that I'm doing can work? Well, you don't know if it's going to work unless you've personally tested out, you've road tested your strategies or your concepts or the value proposition of what you do. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to find two, three, four people and test out your concepts, test out your solution on them. Do it as a pro bono, do it as a pure give in exchange for a testimonial or something that's a very low investment. And what starts to happen is that these questions that come up from your customers, your clients, they're going to be offering you absolute gold because the questions that they have will prompt you to understand or to rejig your solution in a way that is more compelling, or they're going to give you ideas that you didn't even think about. And so all of that action happens when you put yourself out there and you ask for that feedback, you put yourself out there to test out your concept and literally removing yourself from the outcome in that Don't be too attached and recognize that you may have to change your solution a little bit to meet where people are, to meet what people would be receiving to the extent that you want to make sure that they're getting a solid solution, a solid transformation. Because people buy for two reasons, to take care of a pain or for pleasure. And so you really have to think within the gamut of what it is that you do. Are you solving a pain? Not a plane. Are you solving a pain or are you providing a pleasure? Typically, it's the former. So within that, you really have to have an understanding of your premium prospect or your ideal customer, as you may know the languaging, but really understand what it is that where they're at when they are ready to buy from you. And then the secondary part of it is test out your solution when you know that you have something to share. Stay in your superpower right? Recruit two, three, four people. Keep it small in exchange for that information. And for the love of it all, just put it out there. Just ship it for God's sakes. Like how many times have you gotten ready to get ready? Have you been procrastinating? Have you said, oh, maybe if I just do it this way, or maybe I need to change platforms. Maybe I should just, instead of it being on ClickFunnels, maybe it should be in Kajabi. Or maybe if I just take this one last class, then that's going to be the secret to get me there. And the reason I know all these things, the reason I can speak like this, probably things that not only I've heard from my clients is because once upon a time I was like that too. I thought that if I just got that one additional guru's content, if I just joined that one online product or group coaching and what started happening, yeah, I was like learning a lot, but I wasn't applying any of the learning And then as a result, I was just getting by. And so once I recognize that I have a moral responsibility to put my offer out there, when I know that I can impact and change someone's life and to hold it and to keep me in my shit, it's just just a waste of time. And so why waste your time, right? Time is of the essence. Let's get it out there. Let's ship it. Let go of the inner saboteur and recognize that if you just take the key steps in recognizing who is your ideal prospect, recognizing what is the solution that you provide and how is it that you are taking care of that pain for them. And then in good faith, creating a system that is logical, that is easy to follow, that's a quote unquote paint by numbers, like I always say, where you can show your premium prospect that transformation and saying, hey, let me guide you. Let me guide you through this because I've been there. I know how it works. I know all the landmines to help you avoid them. Come on, tell me that someone's not going to raise their hand and say, you know what? Yes, I do want that because it is something I need. And you are speaking my language and I see that you understand my pain. So please take care of my pain, will you? And then you say yes. And so all of this is all in the name of just putting your solution out there and letting go of that imposter syndrome, the inner saboteur that is just keeping you comfy, cozy, and probably broke. So let that shit go, put that on the side and recognize that now is the time, if ever, 
to put your stuff out there. So just ship it. And if you need help with your positioning, you can definitely check out positioningquiz.com. And of course, head on over to pattydominguez.com. I have lots of positioning goodies and things coming on the forefront in the fall. I got a book coming out, like a handy dandy little book. So just stay with me as we continue this journey. But yeah, for this one, just put it out there, test it, ship it, and then you will get lots of great feedback, way better than you just sitting in your office going through that yet one other course to see what else you can learn. Don't waste any more time. Just put it out there. All right. <laughs> Hope this rant served you well. I felt compelled to share it because it's something that's been coming up and it's time to remind you all that you just got to ship it. Thank you so much for checking out the Positioning to Profit podcast. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new episodes. And also, it would mean the world to me if you would take a quick moment to leave a rating and review on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or your favorite podcast player. It really helps to get the word out about the podcast and, of course, the featured guests. And lastly, please make sure to connect with me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. I'm on all of them and use hashtag positioning to profit so that I can <laughs> search you out and connect that way too. All right. Thanks so much. See you next time.